Hi, this is Will Gardella from the HP Big Data team. I wanted to show you in more detail the content hub that we showed in the Building the Smarter Data Lake webinar together with Hortonworks. If you watch that webinar, you know we had a solution that we were showing that uses the power of HP Idle technology uh, to improve the user experience, for, especially for the business user, but also for IT um, with the Hadoop Data Lake. Um, and the problem we're really trying to solve is how do you give the business user more uh, easy to use, user friendly tools for getting data in and out uh, and managing that in a way that's safe and takes some of the burden off of IT. Um, so what we're looking at here is the IT view of this. Um, and if you watched the, uh, the webinar, um, you saw me uh, scrambling to fix the fact that the, the, uh, the video didn't work and I pulled this up cold. Um, so I wanted to set the record straight here and say, you know, this, this does actually work. We had a, a little issue with Hugh uh, not being started when I showed it on the video, but that wasn't Hugh's fault. That was my fault. Um, so let me walk you through this today. Um, you have the policies, and these are the things that uh, collect the information out of various repositories on a schedule. Um, you've got the browse functionality here, um, which is a convenience functionality, but this is kind of nice because it lets you... Um, go into the systems that you have permissions to see and kind of browse through them, even if they're not necessarily local, right? So these are some files there on the Google Drive. Um, and the search interface will show in a minute and as, as these other ones. And of course, these config and logs, these are IT functions. So the normal business user wouldn't see those at all. Um, but I can go in here and configure policies. I can run policies that exist. Some of these are on demand, um, just they run when people need them. Some of them are set to run on a schedule so that you pull in the data um, at a time that makes sense. And I'm going to show you what you can do with these things. So if you wanted to collect a new, uh, you know, set up a new one, you could um, set up this and you could do what you need to do here. You could set up insulin. You could um, type in whatever kinds of things you want here. And, and these don't have to be exact matches because these are conceptual search, um, it's not exactly the same as keyword. Um, you can also go down here and you can enter in the, f the field text. Um, you can say, for example, I only want documents from these dates or these authors or whatever it is that you need to do. But you can also just keep it simple uh, and, and look for a concept like that. Um, the other thing you can do here is if your repositories support it, um, you can do whatever actions you're uh, allowed and enabled to do. So for example, if I'm setting up a SharePoint connector that supports things like uh, legal hold um, functionality, which is very advanced, um, uh, then I can do that straight from here. And so this is a pretty interesting thing. I can make sure, I can enforce the fact that I, if I have deletion rules for certain kinds of information that says you must not be putting credit card information someplace, uh, that can all be controlled there. And that's just uh, standard idle functionality. But in this case, uh, I'm not going to use this rule. I'll just want use one that we have already set up. Um, let's go down here, and we'll pull the information from Google Drive. And that'll take a second to run here. Let me scroll down so you can see that it's working. So it took about five seconds. Um, and then we can go down here, and just this is a convenience function that shows us what's in there. I've put all PDFs in here because PDFs can be a pain to handle. Um, one of the things that's nice about the idle functionality is that you have key view. A key view handles pretty much any type of file you're going to be able to think of. Uh, can pull the, the metadata um, and also the text content um, uh, from those files. So it's going to turn these PDFs into, or it has already turned these PDFs into a textual format. So now I can go over here to Hue, and if you're a, a, a Hortonworks user, you're going to know Hue. It's the place you go for all your great uh, convenience functions. You can call Hive jobs from here, Pig jobs, whatever you need to do. Um, and I'll show you a, a Hive job here in a second. But um, let's go, and I'll show you that the data we just ingested is now here in data insert. Um, and the PDFs are here in a text format. Um, so I can do whatever I want with those. And I can go over here, and I can run, uh, let me take a saved query. Um, I can run things like, uh, go ahead and give me a count of how many uh, documents contained the concept of anxiety. 
uh, grouped out by repository or whatever it is I want to do. Um, and so these these are pretty handy functions uh, to be able any any functions that you want to do. It's pretty handy to be able to operate on text instead of, for example, PDFs, which are are not usable for you. Um, so let me go over here and show you the search interface. This is um, this is idle uh, exposing different search functionality here. So I could go and type a search for insulin. Um, and what I see over here is some of the advanced functionality uh, that's available for you in Idle that goes a little bit beyond what you're going to get out of the box with a lot of the other things. So over here I have uh, these deduction rules. And if I want to, um, and this is actually, these have been run in some form. So I have a count here of how many times these various terms show up. And uh, these rules are going to pull out cons uh, can difficult concepts or advanced concepts. This is diseases like diabetes. Of course, there are a lot of different ways that you can talk about any medical condition. And so these grammar rules take care of figuring out um, the fine details of, of that kind of stuff. Um, so you go through these uh, research reports. Um, it, would be qu it would take you a long time to figure out what diseases are actually in there. And so that's what these are, are there to do. And of course, they do all kinds of other things too, finding everyone's emails or or when there's a person name or whatever. Um, another advanced functionality that we have over here is this, what we call uh, automated query guidance, or uh, AQG. And this has this is really interesting. When you throw this at a collection of documents, it's going to be pulling out the concepts that are in there in a fast uh, and easy to use way. So uh, you remember, we're pulling in documents that have something to do with insulin. And this is telling us. Um, you know some things that we might expect to see in there, like childhood diabetes. We can go and pull the documents that really have to do with that, or pediatric endocrinology, or hypoglycemia, and and so forth. So this is really interesting stuff, um, and this is just something that you get by applying idle to these documents. You're going to get some uh, useful overviews of what's in there automatically. And there's another thing here which. Um, if we go to one of these documents and we want to look at it, we can. Um, we have a viewer here which is going to show us the document. So it's this is a PDF. It's going to show us this, um, and we don't have to have the form. We don't have to have the local client installed, um, and it's going to give us a view. So we can and do this with with many many different types of, of files. Um, so that's the uh, 360 degree view. So that was what I wanted to show you today, and. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.